Yo guys, this is Ryan, and I'm going to be showing you my WWE card collection. <laughs> I haven't really had much of a collection. I want to mainly just show you the relics, maybe a couple other exceptions that are rare. But yeah, it's not really much to see with me. Been, I haven't been, I'm not like a life type of collector. I only go out there maybe once a month, twice a month, maybe three times a month. And that's about it to get one box and maybe a couple packs. Alright, so start us off. We have um Darren Young, Andre the Giant, Memor Memor Battle Royale Memorial. It's pretty ordinary except for this. The metal is in line with the frame. So that means it might be a misprint for all we know. And there might be a way to prove it too. Because that's the way it came out of its pack. Then we have the Sting Matt Relic. The same lame boring one. By the way, these are actually all the boring ones. All the 299s. And, um, I'm super around. I at least have a Gargano one. <coughs> which I find kind of cool. Oh, Smackdown Life Patch. These are, that's kind of lame. Just a Smackdown Life Patch with... John Cena. What? Lame. And then they don't really tell us, like, in detail about him. Well, we already know who John Cena is, so... He's, like, the biggest guy in wrestling, even though he's OP as fuck. Alright. And now, I want to show you the more, my more valuable ones. My second page. Which has ones that aren't the base 300, but maybe a little more, like this Dana Brooke. She has 50 copies of this one. Kevin Owens. 99. They're all matte relics here, by the way, pretty much. The Rock. 25 done. Bobby Roode. 50 of him. Like Biscuit but Alexa, Alexa Bliss as Bliss as and Grim calls her. Then we have Bailey. Oh, we actually have this one. A gold um a gold card. This is my first gold ever collected. Just found this morning, even though I've had it for a couple days. Then I, I just wanted to read what story they have on the event and I saw out of 10, and Roxy! Hey, Roxy! Say hi to Roxy! Roxy! Hey! Hey! Roxy! Oh, isn't she cute? Hey, away from the cards. Don't step on them. Try not to step on them. Yeah. Try not to step on my cards. They're not going to be very happy about that. Right. And then we have a little woman's champion memorial, and Roxy's being cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go! 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 Go. Go, you silly girl. Go, you silly girl. Alright, curl up there. Yeah, lay down. Lay down, you cute girl. Alright. We have a championship medallion. Which I think is pretty cool. But the most proud thing is actually the, the most basic one here, which is the gold one. Because there's only ten of those, so it's kind of rare. And then, um... Next up is... What I call my my uh, my treasure cove. This is my rarest of the rare. What I think is uh, it's my rarest of the rare, like a printing plate. Even though it's of a ref referee, but this is kind of cool. Refer um, a plenty pr um, printing plate. It's kind of educational. You get to know how they're made in a way. Here's the uh, AJ Styles um, out of twenty five um, Royal Rumble uh, Matt relic. I just put this in my more rare section because this was from 2016 and that was the year he, he debuted. In WWE, that is. Not debut, debut, but WWE. And then this is a um, Matt Relic. I don't really put Matt Relics in my treasured section, but because it's has there's only been 10 of these versions of it, I said, why not? It's made its way. And in this section... Here's a John Cena shirt relic. 
So I'd put that here because it's a shirt relic rather than a um, something else. Rather than a matte relic. Here's an Oscar Kiss card. This one I believe was a 50, um, 50 were made. Oh wait, no. 100 were made. Or near 100 that is. And then, this is a Randy Orton shirt relic. Where it's actually, this one was the 50th out of 50 made. So, that's kind of special. Getting the last one that was made. It's kind of cool to me. You're either getting the first one or the last one seems like the coolest. Or if it's a Ty Dillinger relic and you get like the 10th card made of it. No matter what set. That'd be kind of cool too. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, and screw you WWE for not wanting us to chant his name, or chant his number. Names and numbers, bro. They're not the same. Don't mix them up. Alright, and then these three are my most, are my, are my favorites. Let's start off to actually with the least valuable, Baron Corbin. This is one of the very few that I actually didn't find in a pack. I traded, I traded a Dean Ambrose autograph one for this one. And remember, Baron Corbin's my favorite, and the one who received it was my best friend, like Dean Ambrose, so, yeah. We decided to trade because, why not? We each get benefited. And then, this, that John Cena one was another one that I got for my birthday. Even though I keep telling my parents not to get me cards that have already been found. Because... Takes the fun out of it in my eyes, kind of, but still cool to have something attached to them, kind of. Alright, this one is um, a Tamina, um, Tamina um, shirt relic and autograph. It's really, um, it's really um, awesome having this be, on my, be found on my birthday. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Getting something like this on your birthday? Pretty exciting. It's Great. I was so excited when I saw that. Then we have my favorite one here, which is the Baron Corbin shirt relic autograph. As 25 out of 25. This one actually um was it a was it a gift or was it from a pack? I think this one was actually from a pack. I think. Yeah, I think it was. It's around the time of Christmas that I got it. So that's pretty much it for my relics. Let me um, let me flip through what's left and see if there's anything else. Um, let me see. Is there any? Where's my special little? section for my smaller ones I had found. These ones aren't really relics, but they're rare. Oh, wait. There's two ones that I found. No, three. So we have Mandy Rose, a blue parallel. Charlotte Flair, blue parallel. And we have a Samoa Joe rookie card blue parallel. It's only three here. These are actually just in the background. See? Oh wait. Why didn't? Oh, wait, no. Yeah. See? They're on the background. I didn't put them together. All right. So that's. Um, uh. Oh yeah. That's pretty much it for what's actually impressive for my for my collection. Hope you enjoyed them. Uh, some of them I'm actually somewhat proud of. And again, remember, I'm not a devout card collector who goes buy stuff every day. I'm not a scalper like those assholes who take all the good shit and sell them. That's just low. Hey, right, come on. I don't understand like why people would even buy them. Just either tr use a card of your own to trade for it or something. You're just buying into idiots by buying a relic. Like, Yawn, you can try finding a little bit of a victory of yourself and not be 
seek the humiliation of having to buy one. That's kind of sad to me, to be honest. Alright, so. Oh. Bye bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my style. Ah, it's kind of stupid dabbing while I have the camera in my hand. Wow, yeah, I must look like a real idiot now. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed that. Adios!